Hey guys, welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. You're inside Casey's Kitchen with Casey. I am bringing you another triple recipe video. This one includes lemons. So first, we are going to make some lemon extract. Second, we are going to make lemon juice. And third, we are going to make a cleaner. How about that? There is no waste around here. You know guys, I like to use everything that I can in every way possible. So, we are fixing to process these lemons from start to finish with zero waste and three different recipes that you're gonna be able to use. All right guys, so there are three things you're gonna need for this recipe. One, you're gonna need a jar. Two, you're gonna need some kind of peeler and you want one that's not gonna take off very much and then you want some type of vodka or brandy or rum. Vodka is tasteless, so um, like there's no flavoring or anything to it. It's just straight alcohol. Um, you want 80 to 100 proof. And you don't have to go expensive, okay, people? You don't have to go expensive. This is the cheapest vodka that I found for like 13 bucks at our local liquor store. So... You, this ain't going to be expensive and you're not going to use that much. So the first step we need to do, I've already washed these off to get any wax or anything because I can't grow lemon trees so I have to buy these things. So we washed them and dried them off and now what we're going to do is take our potato peeler and skin the outside off. N try not to get any white parts, okay? We just want the yellow parts, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to fill this jar about halfway up. Doesn't matter what size. This is like a pint and a half, I think. Yeah, I think it's like a pint and a half. It's a jelly jar. So I figured since it takes a while to make this kind of stuff, I'm going to go ahead and make enough um, for my cooking and baking that's coming up for the holidays. Um, and you do want to plan this ahead of time because this takes anywhere from six months, uh, from six weeks up to three to six months and it all depends on how strong you want it so holidays are coming up we got to get this going so simple trick put a towel over your hand and that way you don't cut yourself but just take your peeler and you want to peel off just as lightly as you can try not to get many white pieces that's just a very very thin white piece Try not to get any of that because that can make it a little bitter. You can also maybe use a um, grater if you want to do like a like a zester. You could also do like a zester. Um, doesn't matter. This is gonna take a minute, so y'all hang tight. Okay, so it took me about four lemons to get a half a jar. And then all we're going to do is just cover it with vodka. I'll fill it up to the rim. And then we are just going to cover um, our jar with a lid. Sorry, I had to go get a lid. I'm just going to use a regular cannon lid and ring. We're just going to put this on here. Shakey, shakey, shakey. Now, you would want to... Oh, it's already turned yellow. <laughs> you would want to go in there and give this a shake back and forth. Now, you can just tilt it back and forth or you can shake it for like 30 seconds. Um, do that about once a week. Um, if you need to, you can you can leave this out in the sun. The sun will help extract faster. You can put it in a dark place. This is really your preference. I haven't found one way or another that um, there's actually solid rules to the to the game. <laughs> so, anyways, all we're gonna do, you need to label this. Make sure you label it. Of course, you can look at it and see, but this is actually gonna change the colors a little bit. It's gonna turn a little brown. Um, just make sure that you label it and then 
try it after about six weeks if it needs to go longer then just try it once a week after that until you get it to where you want now you this can go up to six months but whenever you get ready for it to stop extracting strain it out and then just keep the rest of the vodka in the jar the remnants <laughs> you can put those in your compost bin or I don't know that I would give it to the chickens, but <laughs> you might have some drunk chickens out there. But, um, yeah. Looks pretty. I'm excited. So I have these cool little chalk stickers or whatever. And I don't write on them with chalk because chalk comes off. I have these fabric pencils. You can get back in the arts and crafts fabric section of any store. And they're just a, a white pencil. You could probably use um, colored pencils or something too. But you want to put on here what it is and the date that you made it. And that way you'll know how long it is until it's ready. So we've got that done. Let's move on. So the next recipe is an easy one. It's a gimme. We're going to juice them. And all we're going to do is roll the lemons back and forth on a hard surface get the juices all loosened up in there cut it in half use a juicer and uh, just collect it in a jar or a pitcher and we're going to keep it for whatever you want to use lemon juice for so let's get to it all right we are going to get ready to start cutting these lemons and of course you can always roll it like this to help loosen up those juices inside and we're going to cut it in half and took the skin off of it. Okay. And now I have set up here. I have my funnel on top of a wide mouth jar. And I've got my metal juicer. I'm going to sit on top of my funnel. And then from here we're just going to juice these bad boys. Okay, there is all of our lemon juice, and we can store it like this or pour it in a container if we've already got a container in the refrigerator, um, and just use that, you know, in your your canning, preserving, uh, cooking, just whatever. Use it, sorry. <laughs> you can use it in anything like that. You can even just make lemonade out of this and drink it, whatever you want to do. So I had a, I think it was a three pound bag of lemons. And I got three quarters of a quart jar and lemon extract. And it's so cool. It's already turning yellow. The liquid. <laughs> That's cool. And a bucket full of lemon peels. Now, the next recipe we're going to do with this will need a... Hmm... We can probably do a half gallon jar. Let's go get one. I changed my mind. We're doing a one gallon jar. I'm going to put these in this clean jar. Put them all in here. Yuck. Ugh. Pulp and everything. The rest of the thing I'm going to put in here, I'm going to fill it up with oranges. And the only thing you have to do from here is cover them with vinegar. I'm going to show you guys one I've already gotten because I've got to go through this whole process again doing oranges. But here is oranges and lemons. You fill it up with white vinegar or apple cider vinegar if you want. And you will take this, strain it into... Some kind of container. I like to use a glass jar, but you'll just strain it into some kind of container, like a spray bottle, plastic, glass, it doesn't really matter, and use this as an, an everyday cleaner. Um, you'll want to let this sit. Now, this has been sitting for several months, and what I did is I've already made two of these bottles out of this mixture. So I made it and I let it sit for about a month. <clears throat> 
And you just go in there and just shake it up every now and then. Give it a good little toss. And I let it sit for about a month. And then I strained it into a funnel and into my jars. And then you just use this. And what I did was I just refilled this with vinegar. And I'm sure you can do that two or three times. Um, you know, just until the peels start not looking good and, you know, you can't smell the citrus and the vinegar anymore, then you'll want to toss it out and just start over. So, this is the second, um, fill that I've did with this one. And I got two bottles out of about half of this jar. So, this does make a lot. So with this jar, I'm going to go ahead and do my oranges the same way that we just did and fill this up with vinegar and let it be soaking because we've got a lot of cleaning on a new house that we are going to be doing pretty soon. So I'm going to need plenty of this. Alright guys, so thanks for coming in Casey's Kitchen today with these three recipes. Our lemon extract. Our lemon juice and our citrus cleaner i hope you guys go out and use these recipes and they inspire you to use every bit and make your homestead a no waste homestead and use it all god gave it to us to use it all so we are trying every bit to use everything from beginning to end whether it be for eating whether it be for cleaning you know whether it be for medicine or I mean, just anything. You can find all neat ways to use every bit of whatever plant you are bringing into your home. So, enjoy, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye!